Case study interview is the interview in which you would get questions around actual nature of your job. So for example, if you are applying for a data analyst or a data scientist role, you might get question like you have to design product placement strategy for the Dmart store. How you would design the product placement strategy? So you have to think about all the potential scenarios which you would consider while designing the product placement strategy and come up with your solution. And these kind of questions have open ended solutions. So it's more like a discussion and you have to come up with the solution that you are recommending. Hi, my name is Rohit and in today's video, we will discuss about case study interview for data analyst and data scientist role. Let's get started. During case study interview, you are given open ended problem statement and you are expected to provide the solution through the discussion. So for example, you might get question like how to increase the sales of this product in Europe. So basically, if you get such kind of open ended problem statement, you would have to ask questions to your interviewer. So make sure that you are creating this interview or you are keeping this interview more like a discussion mode rather than directly jumping to the solution. So try to first understand the assumptions, try to understand what kind of data sources you have access to, how you would approach this problem, how you would analyze the data, then how you would share your insights. So you have to keep asking the questions to the interviewer to understand the problem. So basically you can try to imagine your interviewer is almost like your customer for which you are designing this problem. So you have to ask questions to the interviewer or basically your customer or your stakeholder, try to understand their business problem and then come up with your strategy to solve that particular business problem. So I would give you one real world example. So one of my friend appeared for the data analyst interview in Airbnb. And this is the question he got during the interview related to the case study round. So the question was, the review of the customer support team in particular country is not good as compared to review in, of the customer support team in other countries. So can you tell us why? So such an open ended problem statement. So basically when you get such kind of a question, if you try to imagine a customer support team, which is speaking with the customers over call, then you have to first think of what kind of data points you would use to analyze and come up with your recommendation or your findings with respect to why the performance of customer support team or why the review of customer support team in particular country is not positive. So if I think of a customer support, then I think what I would think about is how many calls that customer support team is getting on a daily basis. So what's the average number of calls every person in the team is getting as compared to average number of calls in other countries. So it might happen that in this particular country, then people are getting more number of calls. So basically that's why they are kind of working in a stretch manner and they are not able to provide the right service to the customers. Or if they are getting more number of calls, it might happen that in that particular country, the way in which Airbnb business is organized, that might not be right as well. Then the second factor is what's the average duration of call on every support question or basically, basically on every support query raised by the customer. So that can also be analyzed. So how much time our customer support agents are spending on every call while speaking with customer to solve that particular issue. What's the quality of that conversation? What's the sentiment of that conversation? Then maybe we can also get access to the call recordings and then maybe convert those call recordings into text data and try to identify are there any specific kind of problems which are faced in this particular region. Are there any specific kind of problems for which customers are giving bad reviews of the support team. So all those kind of data sets you can analyze and then come up with your findings with respect to why the customer support team is getting negative review in this particular country. So basically this is how you have to think when you get any problem and to get better in the case study round what I would recommend you is like take three to five case studies and then think of how you would solve those case study problems using data what kind of insights you would build what kind of models you would build. So think about those and I would tell you case study interviews are not really a technical discussions they those are mainly kind of a problem solving and critical thinking discussions where interviewer is trying to identify your communication skill, your critical thinking skills, your problem solving skills, your curiosity, are you asking the right kind of questions. So those kind of skills are mainly evaluated during the case study round. So make sure that you spend some good time in practicing three to five case studies and that would definitely help you in performing better in your case study interview for data analyst or a data scientist role. Thanks for watching the video and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.